Welcome back, everyone, to the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network. We are a new recap show that's going to be going over some of the most important information that we think you people really ought to know about. Again, if you've been following us, you know we're talking about the police state uh, and the emergence of it and how the New World Order is going to use this police state to make sure that people do what they're told. Um, so if you followed the last couple of segments, I was talking about FEMA camps, I was talking about NSA data centers, and, and again, throughout all the other stuff I've been showing you, basically, that they're going to uh, eventually try to crack down on the American citizens and, and do to us what, what our army has done to other countries, um, namely in the Middle East. But, but again, if you look back through history, we've been doing this. We did it in Latin America. We did it in Africa. We did it in Eastern Europe. We did it in... in Far East Asia. You know, we, we've done this to other countries multiple times. The only thing is, we thought we were doing it, but again, the New World Order was doing it, and now they're going to do it to us. Um, so again, that's what this this is really all about. My, my first, we're trying to introduce you all to the New World Order, and again, it's such a large topic to cover. We have to approach it from all these different angles, and hopefully, if you continue to watch us and you continue to look at the documentaries, and you actually get involved in understanding this, Hopefully, you'll be able to start fitting all the pieces together. Again, all the pieces are there, but we have to understand how all this links together into the New World Order agenda. Also, again, we're going over the free state, and today's topic is a pretty big topic. Again, this one's in, even in mainstream media, they talk about this stuff. And what we're going to be talking about is drones. That's right, folks, those robots that... Uh, that the military uses to shoot missiles at people, and they're controlled by computer geeks in some place in Colorado, I think. Uh, but anyway, um, there, I'm sure there's more in Colorado. They're probably all over the place. And, and even now, they have automated systems where they can just set up an artificial intelligence for the drone, and the drone will go out and do its own mission without somebody even controlling it. And that's the real scary thing. I mean, that's Terminator Skynet stuff right there. Uh, and that's really scary because, you know, well, 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 here's the real scary part about it is, um, again, when the New World Order does do this, this big crackdown, they're going to have to use people against people. And if they start ordering the, the military to shoot innocent civilians, there's a chance that the, the soldiers with the guns are going to say, I'm not going to do that. You know, there's a chance the police and the soldiers are going to wise up to this and side with us, which is why the New World Order is building drones and building artificial systems to run them off of so that they don't even need people. Again, that's what makes the drones so important is, and, and they're not just the flying drones, they have, they have ground drones now too, and they've even got little helicopter drones that are small enough to fly in through a window, and they can actually equip guns and grenade launchers onto these little helicopter drones. And a lot of the police forces already have them. And in fact, in uh, either North Dakota or South Dakota, they're actually already using the drones to, to arrest people, mainly ranchers. They, again, they don't like people who can take care of themselves. So if you own a ranch, if you own a farm, and you can take care of yourself, they're probably going to try to find a way to lock you up. That's just the way that the New World Order works. Um, so I got a bunch of articles. I think I already linked to them in earlier earlier sections. Maybe maybe I haven't linked to the drone stuff yet. Um, I'll go back and check. If I haven't linked to them, I'll link to them. Again, if people uh, watch a video and they can't find links to a certain topic, it's either we haven't really researched that topic yet, but we, we, we know about it. Like I said, I've been studying this stuff for 14 years. The crazy thing now is, is all the documentation that's available. Um, but again, you actually have to go find the documentation, so, so I don't have links for every topic we mentioned so far, but again, that's because the main stuff I've researched for this initial broadcast was the development of a police state. Um, but it all ties together with everything else. Um, so again, if, if we talk about something and there's no links to it, go look it up for yourself. Um, you have the internet. If you're watching us, you definitely have the internet. And it's really not that hard to type something into Google and then go read. Uh, it's, it's real simple. Uh, they, they still do teach people how to read in public schools. So most people should know how to read. Um, so basically we got these drones things. Who is flying drones over America? Um, and this one's uh, out of a New York Times blog. Again, don't, you can't trust mainstream media too much, but sometimes you have to 
you can find information there. You just have to know how to dissect it. Um, the age of drones. The military may be using drones in U.S. to help police. Critics fear invasion of privacy. How dare you want to be private, America? Filthy, disgusting, liberty lover, a free America. Um, but this one's out of uh, Los Angeles CBS uh, local news. Again, I think there might be a video on this link that you all can go watch. Again, I think this is just the correspondence of what they talk about in the video. But basically, it's just saying, yeah, the, the police are getting U.S. Air Force drones. Again, there's supposed to be a rule that the military is not allowed to be used as a police force, but as we've seen recently, um, the rules of our country don't apply anymore because this is the new world order. This isn't the United States of America anymore. Uh, and that's what we have to really drill down people's throats is that, look, this is the new world order. All the stuff you thought about America, it's going bye-bye unless we stop it. And I fear the, the, the sands of time have run out for that. Uh, I hope not, but, but I fear that. Um, and again, I got another one. Domestic use of drones? Bad idea. This one's written by uh, a conservative columnist and a liberal columnist. And they're both saying drones are bad. And again, Bush tried to get drones passed, and all the Democrats were like, no, no, that's bad. But then when Obama wants drones, everyone's like, yay, Obama drones! I got Obama phone, I got Obama drone, that's Obama everywhere. Um, and again, people really let him get away with whatever he wants. He started more wars than Bush, uh, but nobody seems to care. Um, and again, I'm not a fan of Bush either. Again, uh, Bush is the guy who brought the towers down. He's the guy who started the war on terror. He started all this, really. Um, and again, people before him led up to that point. So, so you can't blame just one person. And really, you can't blame the puppets. You have to blame the puppet masters. And really, since we're in a free democracy, supposedly, you can't really blame them. You have to blame the people. It's our fault. We're the ones who weren't wise enough to see what was happening, and we let this happen. Um, so now it's, it's our responsibility to stop this before the rest of the world pays for it. And, and, and we're going to pay for it, too, with lives, with our freedom, uh, with great grief we will pay. Um, and this one, the final article here, drones over U.S. get okay by Congress. So, so not, it's not, the Congress says it's okay too. So not just Obama, again, this is, this is the new world order. Um, I don't want to bash Obama. Um, I'm no fan of Obama, but I'm no fan of Republicans either. I, I, two heads to the same snake, folks. Again, you saw my, my video with the clappy snake thing. Um, so, so you understand my theory on both of those political parties. They're corrupt. And they're both globalist run New World Order fronts. Um, so that's going to be it for this segment. Uh, again, we just went over drones. Uh, go look that stuff up for yourself. We link to some articles. I'm going to try to. I may have already done it. Uh, but that's going to be it for this segment. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining me in. Um, and stay safe, stay strong, stay free, stay alive, stay informed. Uh, get back with us. We'll see you guys in the next segment.